Hello guys, <coughs> and welcome to a new YouTube video. In today's video, I will be talking about some trials tips, and other stuff like that in the background, just some elimination gameplay from today. Elimination. I'll sort of break it down and just give tips. Bravo, team. So, the first tip is, use weapons that complement your playstyle. If you're out. gonna be rushing the entire time, Use a short range weapon like a high rate of fire auto rifle and a shotgun or something. If you're gonna stay back and snipe and like stay back at your spawn and let them come to you, use like a scat rifle and a sniper. If you're gonna be like defending a point, like let's say you wanna defend the capture zone, you like pick a spot and you just stay there, but not at your spawn. How do you use something like um how do you use a far range weapon and a close range weapon All so like you can take down any threat from anywhere like I'd say auto rifle and sniper like I'm using in this video <clears throat> the next tip would be team is in the, lead. the different strategies that you can do the main one that I do on like maps like uh, black shield would be to just defend the capture point which means the capture point once like the the timer ends and you haven't killed all the people like the capture point opens up and you have to capture it so that's like the most boring style I guess you could say because you're not doing anything you're just sitting there and not really doing anything Enemy team eliminated. but it works because they have to come to you and you just stay there and the next style is just rushing it usually works well on teams with like snipers, and it works really well if you don't want them to get your super, don't want them to get their supers, or grenades and melees up, so you just like kill them so fast. And but you also don't get your supers really quick. That's good for if you just want to run through the game really quick. Yeah. And the last strategy would be to just stay back. And snipe. I hate that strategy because I find it like just I don't know. Don't prefer it because you know that you're at a disadvantage because they have the capture point, which is not good. Unless they come to you or they're like trying to challenge you. Yeah. Which if they are, they're kind of stupid. <laughs> um, more tips is you have to use a team that's really coordinated. That's like better than having. Let's say. You have like a really good person, and, but you have like really two mediocre teammates. That will do really bad if they like haven't ever played together. Just randoms, a really good person and two mediocre have never played. They will just be terrible since they don't know each other's playstyles, don't know like anything about each other. But if you have three people, like at least mediocre, it'll do really good. Cause they all know each other's play styles and all that stuff and it just works really really well so yeah i would recommend playing with people you know that's just the best thing to do another tip is to counter some of the overpowered weapons or abilities for firebolts if you see a team running like full firebolts and you have at least any if you're using your night stalker you can shade step out of fire bolts, <laughs> arc bolts, and skip grenades, and any grenades that track really. So shade step is amazing. And for doctrine, I mean you can't do too much about it. But yep, guess that's it. All right, guys, thank you for watching my video, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I'll keep making more of these. If not just leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next.